What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. You're right. I didn't say effing this time, even though this is the uncensored channel. I wanted to just do a quick little video and just uh, give you guys an update on how I'm doing, how the company here in New York is doing, and uh, how Pipe Doctor Home Services Essential Florida is doing. It's, uh, it's a gloomy and rainy Tuesday morning here, April 2nd, 2024. I just left a service call uh, for a, um, an apartment building that we service for the owner. This guy's got, um, I think about six multi-family buildings in the area that we service. Um, we're the go-to plumbing and HVAC contractor for him when, you know, the handyman can't do it, <laughs> which is okay with me. I'd rather have the handyman uh, you know, replace angle stops, replace fill valves. Uh, but when it comes to the HVAC equipment, he knows his limitations. Holy shit. You guys like, holy fucking shit. Mikey pipe stop for a stop sign. <laughs> I sure did, but I'm going to blow through that one. We're going to do a slightly tap on pedal with that one. So just, if you're going to comment already, you might as well do it now. Cause you know, I'm not stopping completely at that one. Let's see, unless there's a cop right there. Okay. And if I really had the balls, I would blow right through it with him there, right? But I don't got big cojones like that. You know what I mean? Watch it. Watch it. Look, look. Blew right through that. Come on. You saw that? You saw that? Everyone blows through stop signs here in New York. And I stopped at that one too, no less. Everyone blows through stop signs. Right? There's one guy right there. Look. Stopped. Didn't stop. He slightly topped on pedal. There's another one. You see, we don't stop at stop signs here. So get with the program, people. Anyway, let's start uh, the video with Central Florida. Um, right now, we have increase of revenue, looking like it's going to be a good, a good fifty percent uh, from twenty twenty three to twenty twenty four. Uh, we're just finished our third, our first quarter of the year. Quarter, right? Is it four, three quarters? No, <laughs> sorry. Don't. <laughs> we're into uh, <laughs> we're into um, April now, but it looks like we're gonna have a fifty percent increase of revenue from uh, twenty twenty three, and that is without having air conditioning season uh, approach us. So we've done a couple service calls for air conditioning. The second air conditioning service call we went on. Uh, we replaced the system. System was 11 years old, put in a Bosch, easy peasy, right? Um, so that's pretty good. But as soon as air conditioning season comes there, um, it's going to, uh, it's going to elevate us, hopefully, to a 100% increase in revenue for 2024 over 2023. Um, Listen, it's 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 a an existing company that was not necessarily geared for service, so there is a learning curve. But I have no doubt in my mind, I have no doubt in my mind that the company is going to be very successful, and God willing, it's going to allow me and Tom to expand the Pipe Doctor brand into south florida um and i'm probably gonna stop in the palm beach county area that's about it because i want to be in palm beach um i love orlando uh but you know i got some family in southern florida so it'd be nice if it was you know more convenient for me not to drive two hours from orlando to you know boca and boynton beach you know uh, but it's gonna be a great year it's a great great year it's a learning curve, you know, like just the other day, just yesterday, matter of fact, I learned that Tom answers the phone when someone calls. Hi, Tom Bowfinger. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you, are you really doing? answering the phone like that? Hello, Tom Bowfinger. I'm like, yo, at least, thank you for calling. This is Tom, how may I help you? Or, um, it's a great day at Pipe Doctor. My name is Tom Bowfinger. How can I make you smile today? Something like that. You know, or just, um, thank you for calling. How can I help you? So listen, it's little changes, but I have no doubt in my mind that it's going to be successful. Um, it's a little slow at this time of year. And I think all of you are in agreement. 
uh, who are in the trades. You know, this time of year, we have the holidays, you have Easter, you have Passover, uh, you have spring breaks, you know, people go away, uh, people, you know, just people are less likely to dump some money uh, into repairs or upgrades in their home at this time of year. So usually end of March, beginning of April, it slows down for me. And listen, I've been doing this, you know, on my own solo since 2008. And I see this every single, you know, March to April time of time of year. Um, and whether or not you're dropping a couple thousand dollars in Google AdWords um, or you're dumping mark money into marketing, it's still a slow time of year. And that's quite evident uh, because of the other income and other volume of calls that I get from other sources that are not controlled by me. So, for example, we are one of two Ream authorized service providers um, for that water heater manufacturer. And during other parts of the year, we probably get five Ream work orders uh, a week. You know, people buy their water heaters from Home Depot, Lowe's, Home Depot, more dominant, and uh, there's something wrong, bad installation, whatever, and then they call Ream, Ream sends us. So now we're seeing maybe two a week. And it's the same principle applies in, in our Charleston, uh, South Carolina branch, because I see that come in. And uh, we just started doing Ream for uh, in Central Florida. So I see that pattern, right? So it's, it's, it's jo not just my geographic area or my company, for example. It's, it's the entire, you know, entire country, I believe. Right. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comments section down below. What you guys think about, uh, you know, how how business is treating you right, right this time of year? You know, I'm also hearing it from a customer yesterday. You know, he's uh, he's um, head of 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 a organization, and he's seeing that do donations that were pledged, you know, to this organization. You know, people are having a difficult time making those commitments at this time of year. So. Uh, Hopefully, we do see a, uh, a change in government come November, hopefully. Um, I think a lot of Americans are, are tired of not feeling safe, uh, having our borders overrun, um, and just letting people into the country where then us hard-paying tax dollars, you know, depletes our resources and we are uh, spending, you know, our resources, you know, our, for social services, you know, and it, it's, it's, it's just, it has to stop. You just can't continue. You know, we can't have, you know, a flood of, of people coming into this country without, um, <laughs> without any repercussions. Like seriously, come on. So hopefully in November we see a change in, um, in the administration of our great country. I do honestly believe America is the best country on the face of the earth. Uh, unfortunately, um, you know, I think with the onset of social media over the last, you know, 15, 20 years, uh, it has divided Americans and we need to, we need to come back and mesh together again uh, because this is, uh, this is not acceptable. You know, I, I have friends that literally, I wouldn't call them friends anymore, but I have literally have friends that are uh, have such a, 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 a stance of, of being a hardcore Democrat that they don't want to be friends with me uh, because I am a Republican. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> you know, I, 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 I'm just taking it back. You know, I remember, you know, growing up as, as, as you know, preteen that I would walk into the voting booth with my parents, you know, one by one, and I would push the lever to close the curtain behind, and it was always the Republican row for one parent and the other one for the other row, but they didn't care, right? Because, uh, listen, it's it just, it's a free country. But the country is so divided now, I, I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. But we do need a change, in my opinion. Uh, there's nothing good happening in, in this country right now, unfortunately. And uh, we really need a change come November. And I don't want to, you know, talk political here nonsense, but you know, this is the Uncensored Channel. And I can say whatever the fuck I want to say. If you don't like it, go somewhere else. Just my opinion. I'm not saying Trump's the best thing since sliced bread. And I'm not saying Biden's a fucking moron. I'm not, right? You know, they're, we, they both earned, they both deserve the respect of being former and or 
current presidents of the greatest country on the earth. Facts, right? They deserve that respect. And as much as you may dislike Joe Biden, he is our president, right? He um, got elected into office, whether or not you think it was stolen from, from the country or not. Uh, that's a, that's, that's been uh, up for debate many times. And unfortunately, the, you know, the facts did not overweigh the facts of the Democratic Party. Just saying. I'm just saying. So business is slow. Business is slow. Uh, the other Mike had some uh, paid, t- paid time off. You know, Friday, Monday, Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. To, you know, get his, uh, I guess for lack of better words, get his shit together. Get his head right. You know, he's got a lot going on at home. And you know what? Every so often, you know, you, you need more than just a vacation. You know, sometimes you just need to get away and just relax and let the brain you know, just feel at ease. And uh, that's one of the things as, as being a, a manager, an owner, a boss. You know, you have to, you have to take into consideration that, you know, your team, your family, they're humans, they're not robots. You know, and I've been with companies where they think you're a robot and, you know, do, do, do. And if you don't do it, get the fuck out, you know. So a little slow right now but it's okay. It allows us to uh, catch up. But, you know, yesterday we sold uh, a Bosch air handler replacement. Unfortunately, we had a uh, a leak, hydronic water leak that destroyed this air handler. It's only two years old. It's got to get replaced. I just left a service call and um, eight or nine uh, boilers and water heaters. We're replacing a boiler and we're doing it tomorrow. That reminds me, I gotta order the boiler. I tried to give him the uh, the Bosch, it's not the Bosch, the Burnham uh, Alta that I have sitting in the shop, but um, he wasn't going for it. He's like, you know what, the water here's not leaking, just change the boiler. I was like, okay, no problem. So we're gonna put a, a Whale McLean CGA 3 in tomorrow. A little baby boiler. All right, guys, thanks for being my uh, Tuesday morning uh, psychiatrist, psychologist, shrink, whatever you want to call it. I appreciate the uh, support from the community. Thank you for letting uh, me have this this platform to vent not only my frustrations, but also my success. And um, again, we can all learn from one another how to do things differently and better. And if we learn something new every day together, I really believe we can make the trades great again. If you like any of those stickers that are behind me, email me, mike at mikeypipes.com. They're free. But if you'd like to make a donation to the Postage Fund, you can do so. There's details in the description box down below. But the best way you can support this channel is to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and um, engage. You know, Post your feedback down in the comment section down below. That's the easiest way you can support this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your Tuesday. Catch you in the next one.